So here in this workbook, I have a lot of rows which are hidden. You can see here, here, and and here as well. So there are a lot of rows which are hidden, and I don't want to go to each row and delete that hidden row. So for this, even I need to unhide that row first and then delete it. So what I want here, I want to delete all the rows in a single go. So in Excel, there is no specific straight option that you can use to delete all the rows but there is a workaround that you can use to identify and delete all the hidden rows now whenever you want to do this whenever you want to delete all the rows make sure to have a backup file because whenever you want to get those rows back it's not possible to undo this action so make sure to always have a backup of the file and now let me show you simple steps for this so first of all you need to go to the file tab and then from file you need to click on the info and now from the info click on the check for issues and then click on inspect document and now when you use this document inspector excel is also asking you to have a backup of the file because once you do anything with that it's not possible to undo it so make sure to have the backup and now i'm going to click ok and then and now here i have a pop up where a lot of options are listed to get inspected with the document so when i scroll down i also have an option that says inspect the workbook for hidden rows and columns and now from here i need to click on the inspect and it doesn't take much time in a second, it will show you all the problems that you have within the workbook. Now, when you have hidden rows or columns, it comes with the error that there are few rows which are found hidden. So here I have seven rows hidden. And now when all the hidden rows get identified, it gives you an option to remove all of them in a single click. And when I click the remove all, and re-inspect you can see it doesn't show me any hidden row and column error that means all the hidden rows or columns are deleted and again i'm telling you whenever you want to use this option make sure to have a backup file this is very very important because you will not be able to undo this action all right, so thanks for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming out with a lot of cool Excel tips and tricks in coming weeks.